I'm feeling quite emotional actually watching those pictures. Uh, it's been it's been such a tough year for so many people, and um, finally we have uh, we have our our way through it. Our, um, our our light at the end of the tunnel, as so many people are saying. And just watching Margaret there, uh, you know, it seems so simple having a, a, a jab in your arm, but that will protect Margaret. Uh, and it'll protect the people uh, around her. And if we manage to do that in what is going to be one of the biggest programs in NHS history, if we manage to do that for everybody who's vulnerable to this disease, then we can, uh, th then we can, then we can move on and we can return to normal. I'd say go for it. Go for it because it's, it's free and it's the best thing that's ever happened uh, at the moment. So do, please go for it. That's all I say, you know. If I can do it, well, so can you. We approve the vaccine. I think some, some people around the world have had it. Yes, I heard that. They didn't feel well a thing, did you? Well done. That's it. Great. How is that? It's all for Britain. It's all for Britain, that's right. <laughs> it's all for Very exciting just to talk to Lynn uh, about the vaccine that she's just taken. She's, she's 81 and really very moving to hear her say that she's doing it for Britain. And, and that's exactly right because she's protecting herself but she's also helping to protect the entire country and across the, the whole of the UK uh, this morning that is happening in all uh, in Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales, in England, people are having the vaccine for the first time and it will gradually make a huge, huge difference. But I stress gradually because, you know, we're not there yet. We haven't defeated this.